Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you an indie makeup tutorial. It's a smoky berry look. I'm using Aroma Lee, Colored Rain, Berry Cute, and Makeup Geek. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. I've already applied eyeshadow primer and setting powder. I'm going to apply Aroma Lee NYX with the Sigma E25 brush. I'm using this as my transition shade, shaping a crease on the hood of my eye. After I have this color shaped um, through my crease, I'm going to start applying it to my lower lid. I'm going to go slightly more than halfway, and I will apply a little bit of this at the outer lid as well. It'll just make it easier to blend later. Taking Kat Von D Light 42 with a Real Techniques base brush, and I'm going to just soften the edges of NYX. I'm going to use Color Grain Palm Berry from the Berry Cute palette. Because this shade is very sparkly and prone to fallout, I spritzed my brush with Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray, and I'm going to be using the Sigma E47 to start working this into my crease. Focusing on the outer portion of the crease, and the outer lower lid, and then the outer lid. Going back with the Sigma E25 and soften the crease. If you lose too much of the sparkle when you're doing this, you can go ahead and blend it out and then pat some more of the color on top. I'm gonna pat Too Faced Glitter Glue onto the inner portion of my lid. I'm going to apply Aroma Lee Inward Melodies with the Sigma E21 brush, and I'm also gonna spritz the brush so that it's damp. I'm going to use the Real Techniques B04 brush to just blend a little more on the hood of my eye. I'm gonna put on Kat Von D's Trooper Liner. I'm gonna apply Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara. This is the, this is the NYX Faux White Pencil in Linen, and I'm gonna put this on my lower waterline. Okay, so I put on the rest of my makeup. I put on the Huda Beauty Foundation in Milkshake on top of the Huda Beauty Primer. I also mixed a little bit of Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer in with the Huda Beauty Foundation to make it more sheer and glowy. I used a tiny bit of my Kat Von D Locket Concealer in L1 Neutral under my eyes. I used Physician's Formula Muramura Butter Bronzer in Light to softly sort of contour my cheeks a little bit. I used Urban Decay's Rapture Blush, which I love. I used Makeup Geek Celestial to highlight my cheeks. I set it all with Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray. For my lips, I used Kat Von D Love Pencil with Sugar Pill Kimchi Lipstick. And now to finish my eyes. I did put on one, two lashes, which are magnetic lashes uh, because I thought I would give them a try. I think they look weird, other people like them. They are pricey as fuck. They're like 65 bucks, I think, or whatever for uh, um, two sets. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna send them back or not. I'm gonna highlight under the eyebrows with Makeup Geek Celestial in my Kat Von D brush. I love this brush for highlighting because it allows me to precisely highlight on my hooded eyes in a way that I think is flattering. And of course, Makeup Geek Celestial is my favorite highlighter of all time. So here's my finished eye look. I hope you enjoyed this Smoky Berry Indie Eyeshadow Tutorial featuring Aroma Lee, Colored Rain, and Makeup Geek. Please be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, click on the little subscribe button that you're going to see over here. You know you want to. My dogs are way too cute to miss. If you found this video fun, entertaining, informative, whatever, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos. It really makes my day. Thanks so much for watching.